What is going on folks, Antoine here with Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tech and today I want to introduce you guys to an up and coming streaming service called Quelly TV. So this streaming service offers um, content from the African diaspora, primarily black and um, African American type of content. But with that being said, this content is not specifically made for African Americans. When I say that, it's not agenda based. It's not uh, in no way, shape, or form similar to BET Networks. It's completely different. Um, in many ways, people are calling it the black, the black Netflix, right? Quotation marks, the black Netflix, because it covers so many genres of content. But, you know, most of the content you see will be uh, black actors, um, whether they're from the U.S., U.K., France, wherever. And they cover all genres, documentaries, comedy, kids shows, all that. And like I said, it's not agenda based. It's not, all right, we're going to hit you with something to make you feel um, irrelevant or to make you feel bad about yourself. It's not that kind of platform. And believe me when I say this, I'm not a fan of BET. Um, no way, shape or form. As an adult, I'm not a fan of the content, all of the content that BET displays. Yeah, they throw in some gospel shows or whatnot, you know. Now, this is just my opinion. They throw in, you know, different content. But me, personally, I am not uh, a big fan of um, BET. Now, you have other people that, you know, aren't fans of BET. Just Google you know, this BT disputes. Who who has something to say about BT? But this is not BTV BT. Um, their title, Black Netflix, is somewhat of a good thing, right? But this is not that. Now, um, with that being said, um, this is a platform where you can go to get all types of content, right? If you're um, tired of the um, the the general content, the superhero movies. Um, whatever, seeing the same actors, this is the place for you. And I will say this, and I don't sugarcoat it. Um, they do have some binge worthy content. This will show you another, um, area of the world of life. And it will expand your perspective on, you know, what the world is, especially in these times during the, um, coronavirus and the protests going on. It's definitely, expand your um, view of the world and uh, i definitely recommend any of you guys try, trying it out um black or white asian haitian you know trinidadian it don't matter check it out they, they are offering a free seven day trial so let's get into the pricing uh, but before i get into that if you're enjoying my content if you're learning anything do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button and like button your support really helps me out a lot or you just hit the like button you know that lets me know that you're you like what you see or you like this platform right all right so we got a monthly subscription for 5.99 per month then you have the annual subscription for 49.99 per year that's billed annually so with these with these subscriptions right you get access to entire library un, unlimited binge worthy um, content of the culture Right. And again, when I say the culture, it's not something to make you feel bad about yourself as whoever you are, black or white. You don't have to worry about running in, into any content that you don't like. Look, when I watch when I if I run into Real Housewives, I just automatically if you got Real Housewives on your platform, I just I don't that don't sit well with me. Right, Real Housewives of Atlanta, basketball wise. I mean, I just don't like that type of content, right? Um, discounts to thirty five plus growing black owned businesses. So, black, you know, we're gonna get to them. Um, they have bookstores. Um, you yeah, know, just giving you discounts for being a subscriber. You know, if you want to know about this side of the culture, this culture, this heritage, right? Again, you don't have to be a certain race. Or gender, you just want to learn about this culture, this heritage, heritage, right? Um, access to all trailers, one percent of um, your subscription go to goes toward a worthy cause. Uh, weekly digest of the latest films, updates, and so forth. 
So we're going to go down here. So you have the friend zone pricing. So if you want to rent a movie, you can do that with the monthly subscription for $2.99 for 24 hours. So if you have the annual subscription, you can just watch it free with advertisement. With, adverti with advertisements. Right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the available platforms. Then we're going to get into the content, which is something that I'm excited about because, like I said, or like they said, <laughs> but they actually say they are not the black Netflix. But um, again, that's a good thing and that's a bad thing. I'm pretty sure they don't want to be called that, but you know, Netflix is known for having everything comedies, movies, originals, all that. But so when you may call the black Netflix. Yeah, that puts you in a category, but like they say, or like I say, it's not just for black people. So, Amazon Fire Stick, Apple Devices, Roku, that's a big one. Roku, I mean, look at it. <clears throat> HBO Max, not even on a Roku. <clears throat> I mean, so that HBO, that HBO Max thing is a whole nother story. I don't want to rant on about that, but we all know what's the deal with the HBO Max. Roku and each Roku wants money from HBO Max and HBO Max just not willing to give up whether I mean whether it's money or whatever. HBO Max is not willing to give it up. Google Play, Apple iOS stores, they are also available on Apple AirPlay and the Chromecast and also on your web browser. So Going down here, Samsung TVs. We know that's kind of iffy when it gets into smart TVs because smart TV TVs become outdated s quick, you know. But they are they're available on Samsung smart TVs, Vizios, um, and then they also showing you other ways you can connect it doing a direct connection with the HDMI cord, uh, which you know requires you to buy additional hardware. So that's something I really don't get into. Um, but you can buy additional hardware to hook it up, hook it up that way. All right. So, what type of content do they offer? Right. Let's get into that. So they have content for different countries, right? Uh, and you know, while we doing this, let's go ahead and just go to that. Uh, their facts and help page, so you can ask and see. They're available in different parts of the, of Africa, so let's go down here. Um, in addition to being um, doing dope black films in the U.S., they all, they also have content from Nigeria, Ethiopia, Ghana, Brazil, Haiti, Cuba, England, France, Trinidad, Dominican Republic, Germany, Canada, Germany, Canada. France, Israel, Honduras, and other places around the world. So, like I said, this is an up-and-coming platform, you know. So, definitely look forward to more um, countries being added on there, uh, more um, more original content. Now, that's the thing. They don't have a lot of original content, but just as a platform overall, is is great content. So, a couple of other features unlimited streams you can watch this on unlimited streams hd content no commercials at all and with any membership you have access to quelly live events right so if you want to look go to live events meet and greet you can do that with a membership as long as you're a member right and i'm gonna link their website in the description so you guys can check it out if you want to really get involved you know, and they call themselves the interactive um, streaming service, um, and it looks like they're they're really doing that. They get involved with the community. They get involved with their subscribers. So definitely interactive, right? So as far as content, they have close to ten thousand hours of content. Now the cool thing about this streaming service, you can text them to directly. They have a they have a number you can call them. You can text them. I mean, number you can text them or you can email them. They're going to hit you up. You can ask them some questions. They're going to answer them right there on the spot. I always do my check to make sure that it's a real person. And um, I just ask, like, I would say something random, like, hello, and, you know, get see what the response is. And, you know, you let you know that it's a real person or not. So, I mean, people hitting, they hitting you back. They hitting you back. You text them, 
they ain't gonna leave you on they ain't gonna leave you on wait you know they gonna hit you right back you ain't gonna be sitting there waiting so that's a good thing right there so let's get into the content the meat and bones of the streaming service which is what i think it is um uh, quote unquote the the black netflix right um and it's it's coming up man it's coming up so you have live tv now when it comes to live tv there's not really that much in the the live tv thing of course this is a niche streaming platform so live tv isn't something they're going to have a lot of when it comes to like abc fox or anything like that it's their live tv it's quelly tv's live tv right just so just as we, like when you turn on when you go to the pluto tv app they have something live showing same concept they have a may have a movie showing tv show documentary showing that's their version of live tv same as with pluto tv right so let's go down here go up here and see what you can see what's new award winning now they have they have films from the film festivals you know up and coming directors up and coming actors great content right now look at this long list of genre what to watch right and just go to the different you know parts of the world united states canada africa europe caribbean uh, middle eastern experimental sports arts classic health animation they cover everything shorts features so um right here we just gonna just take a look and see what they get so let's go to europe see what type of european content they have and you know i checked out some of the programs and it's all perf i mean it's all professional if you know the founder i think her, i forgot her name i forgot her name but i was just watching her interview on her youtube channel very soft-spoken um young lady um you know definitely doing her thing right the founder but let's just go ahead but as you can see there's no content similar to bet right that's what that's what that's what i'm looking for now nothing really against bt but i just don't like their their that type of content right um i'd rather watch lifetime movie channel than watch bt right that's just me and a lot of people out here regardless you know a lot of black people out here say hey bt ain't our content right that's 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 a different type of content right it's supposed to be black excellence television as jamie fox said um at one point um uh, but you know it's just black entertainment really you know, it's supposed to be ghetto entertainment i mean whatever you want to call it right um uh, but just gonna browse through the content here folks this is pretty much everything you need to know but at this portion of the video i'm just gonna browse through the content and let you guys see um just you know looking at the thumbnails and stuff like that that you can um see what type of content they have now you know if you're looking for a name if you're looking for uh cuban Gun jr robert downey jr sammy david jr you're not going to find that on here um this is something that you know you're going to have to expand your um your depth of um, content content and you know, I, I you know, I, I, that's something I notice when I when I review these streaming services. When I go into the content, I instantly start looking for a name I recognize. But uh, most cases, you not you know, with niche streaming platforms like this, you're not gonna find it. You're not gonna find it. But what I notice about this platform is, I went into here. I look. I was looking for a Denzel movie, a Cuban Jr. movie. You know, even a Wesley Snipes movie, you you ain't gonna find it. But I guarantee you, anything you click on, you're gonna like. Anything you click on, you're gonna like. It's gonna be informative. You're gonna learn something new. You're gonna hear different accents, um, different people, different perspectives from different directors, different writers, and that's what it's all about. That's what content is all about. If you want to be stuck in a bubble watching the same stuff. You know that's that's just you know if that's your preference that's your preference but they offer something different 
uh, from a different perspective. I don't know if I can get away with playing any of this, but I would love to play um, one of these clips because it's just, it's professional, you know. It's not, you know, gathered at, like Cat Williams say, gathered at the mall type, you know, type of content, you know, some knockoff content. It's legit content. That's why they're up and coming. In. That's why they're called the Black Netflix. So, um, see if there's anything here on my notes that I wanted to add. So, new content is added monthly. Again, like I said, there's uh, close to 10,000 hours worth of content on here, similar to, I believe, what Disney Plus came out with. Uh, was it Disney Plus? Uh, Disney, yeah, I believe Disney Plus came out with. Um, you know, if you're if you can subscribe to a niche streaming service like HBO Max for fifteen dollars a month, you know, you can subscribe to a service like this. Definitely, definitely, it's gonna have more content. Most of the content on HBO Max I already seen. You know. I've already seen, you know, and I'm just waiting for the next month for them to dish out some more content. And by that time, they already got their second payment. So it's a win-win for them. But this, but this, it's something new. It's something new, definitely something new. And it's something like I'm excited about. Definitely something I'm going to keep on my payroll. And again, let's just browse through. So let's just take a look at. So we went to live TV docu series. So they had a documentary on here. I was checking out. It was. Um, you ain't gonna be able to pronounce some of the name of these shows if you're looking for uh, water cooler talk. Good luck with that. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying. Good luck with that water cooler talk. Trying to uh, name some of these shows, but definitely some shows. Uh, this this documentary right here I was checking out definitely a good documentary. Um, that's another one on here. Uh, I mean, just look at them thumbnails. You know, it, it, it's not even hyped up thumbnails. It's just what the content is. You have Killer Mike on here. That's a name, right? Killer Mike, right? Tariq by Tariq Nasheed. So definitely a streaming service to get into. Definitely a streaming service to check out. And I, I suspect that. In the future, they're going to grow. Hopefully, they don't sell out to Viacom or Time Warner, AT&T. Hopefully, they don't sell their service. Hopefully, the founder doesn't sell her ser service, right? Um, and that is it, folks. I could go on about this, just rambling on, just talking. But we're going to end it right there. Let me know what you think about this service. Definitely a must-have. Definitely something to keep if you're into niche streaming services be sure to hit that like button i will check you guys out next time peace out